Right, welcome back for another On The Bank Two Minute Tuesday. You know the score. Two minutes on the clock. We all use our boilies and we like to use boilies because it tends to pick out a better fish. But every now and again, it's good to have sort of extra feed in the area to get them moving around. A lot of us will use hemp, sweet corn, maize, tiger nuts. So I like to prepare those feed items with some of our range of products. So the first protocol is taking your particle and cleaning it off. Now, a lot of people don't bother with it and it really does make a difference. What you need to do is wash out the particles, pour away the water and get rid of all the grit, dirt, dust and other bits that you don't need. And I do this about two or three times. And when that's ready, then I add my water to soak. In springtime, I'll add salt to the water for soaking or in summer, I will add brown sugar. The reason for this is I know that in in the spring carp tend to favor salty products because they're looking for that balancing for spawning and in summer I just found sweet particles just tend to do better so it's something I do so spring I add salt summer I add sugar I let this now soak for about a day maybe two days then it's the boiling time so I usually boil for about an hour depending on what I'm, I'm cooking and my hemp my tigers and my maize will all be treated with a different product what I want to do is I want to add a little bit more of something to give them a signature that the carp will really really home in on what I do is I bag then up my particles into small bags enough for each session say what I do is I freeze them down now I don't add any liquids at that stage and all my liquids are then added Added when they are defrosting. When you put a liquid in on something that's defrosting, the water in the food item has pushed out and expanded because of the freezing process. And then when it starts to defrost, it sucks it back in again. It's when it's sucking this back in, if we've coated it in a flavor or a food signal or a glug or whatever, it will suck it that in deeper and you're not gonna denature any of the goodness of what you're putting on from boiling. What I do, I go to the freezer, take out as many bags of particle I need. I will then add the corresponding liquid food that I want to add to the actual particle that I'm using. For example, if I'm using maize, I'm gonna add corn steep liquor. You couldn't get a more natural and more perfect product for maize. Corn steep liquor is one of those products, it's derived from maize. It is super rich in amino acids. It's got amazing sugar profiles. It's super sweet and the cup just absolutely adore it. If I'm using hemp, the only thing I'd ever add to hemp is hemp oil. I put a small drop in, give it a whisk round and it just kicks it off and makes it a little bit more enticing for carp. If I'm using tiger nuts, the only thing I put in is a couple of drops of sweet kajelza and that's it. And I'd give it a quick mix around. I would never use any more than a mill for about a pint of tiger nuts. I give it a, a whisk round, let it all absorb in on the defrost and then it's good to go. If you wanted to, you could signature them a little bit more. So if you're say you using trigger bait or BFM and krill and cranberry, you could take some of the glugs and some of the boosters and add that. The liquid booster range comes in many flavors and is ideal for particles as they are full of natural sugars and triggers. Most of all, they are PVA friendly. Particles because of their inherent moistness can be problematic with PVA, but a dowsing of the booster range will make them much more usable where PVA is concerned. Whilst I tend to be a bit of a plain Jane with my particles, pimping particles doesn't stop there. You can add liquid foods, boosters, oils, or even powders like GLM, liver powder and betaine. In fact, the world is your oyster where pimping particles is concerned and it will be a case of what suits you and your needs. One of the most popular particle combinations through the years has been pigeon mix with aniseed. Take a kilo of pigeon mix and add about eight to ten drops of our fennel oil and you will get that rich aniseed back note that carp adore. So this is Jerry Timmy to Tuesday, a quick look at particle preparation and how to tweak them with the right food additives and liquids to make them pop.